Hello everybody, welcome back to this channel, and welcome to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I know I need to finish Twilight Princess and everything, but I wanted to start this since I just got it, and it's not like this is the third time recording this episode because of failures, but I hope you guys do enjoy the series, and let's get on to it. N -n Nintendo Presents. Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Here's uh, Zelda talking to Link at the moment as I start up the game. I've been playing this game for maybe 20 hours, maybe more than that, on my own time. Just so that I can figure out what I'm supposed to do in this series. And I'm still going to have problems with it. But I know what I'm going to do for the next couple of episodes. Open your eyes. But if I, like, knowing me saying that, I'm going to mess it up no matter what. Wake up, Link. This game is, like, two years old now. And I just got to play it for the second time in my whole life. Or, I got to just play it for the second time in my whole life a couple days ago when I first got the game. So, first time I recorded this episode, didn't like it. I was not speaking enough, and it was really boring in my end. And the second time, I recorded for almost an hour and messed up completely because my voice didn't get recorded. I was so devastated this morning when I found that out, after I'd already, like, rent, like put everything together and... <sighs> I got so sad. Maybe I need to start recording my audio in two different ways, just in case. Maybe. Okay. Now let's get the Shike Slate, and then let's get out of the uh, Resurrection Shrine. I will. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Also, I'm also going to try not to waste your guys' time during that th throughout the series, but I'm still going to try to have a lot of fun. To me, this game is basically hard mode for Zelda. But that's mainly because I'm an idiot and I have a hard time playing most games because they suck. I forget half the sh stuff that happens in the games. Because my brain jumbles the whole game together and it's just stupid. And I'm planning on going to uh, Zoro's Domain after uh, a couple of things happen or whatever. That's like the first um, Divine Beast I want to go and take down. I kind of love the art style, but the faces did disturb me on the Highlands. Just slightly. Because of the way everything is rendered out. So look. This game is wonderful, though. <laughs> like, for, like, the first ten hours of me playing this game, I just had, like, the... Whole feeling of, I want to play this more, I love this game, but oh my god, do I suck. You are the light. I, di I, di I died so many times in my game. Now go. I really hope that I don't get a game over for a while. I hope that in this series I can actually somehow not be an idiot. <laughs> And actually plan everything out and actually do strategy. But I don't know if it, if I get a game over that that's okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter. As long as I'm not getting a game over after game over after game over, then I'll be fine. 
the second I'm playing this and recording it, Link, for some reason, just didn't want to even hold on to the wall anymore, and he still had half of it, his stamina meter. So I fell off a cliff and got a game over at the end of the episode, trying to get up to the next shrine. Because we have to get four shrines in order to continue past the Great Plateau. There's the old man. Stick! Or branch. Whatever. Okay, leave me alone. All I know is I have to collect a whole bunch of items. Or... I'm gonna highly regret it later. Because you have to make a lot of food items or it's gonna suck. I don't know how many times I've gone through this like game and just regretted it not having enough food or the weapons don't even last long either. That's just upsetting. But it's one way to not get so stuck on weapons. Most of the knowledge that I had of this game before I was playing it myself was watching Game Grumps. But I fell asleep throughout most of that, so I'm going to have a hard time remembering any of that. I beg your pardon. I'm also going to not read most of the dialogue that happens in this game. Like most of the other games I have. Where I play. Because I've, I've, I've read all of this and it's just, I don't want to read it again. It's just so boring. Well, legend, Hyrule, yeah, it's the birthplace. That's King Bor. Like, I can't remember what his name is. I know it starts with a B. That's the Temple of Time. And are they called Bokoblins or Bokoblins? <laughs> Basically, just saying everything that I've said in the last two recordings. But I don't completely remember what I did in the last two recordings. I'm going to smack this Bacoblin that's coming up. And he notices me immediately. I think they also get a lot more damage taken to them. If your weapon actually breaks. Or they just completely fall back. So that's happened a lot to me. They just like fly. After my weapon breaks. A lot of the shrines that I've played with, I just don't like. Like the one... Oh. Gosh dang it, Zelda. Every time I get to this point, it's just... She says the exact same thing. Yeah, I don't care. I know where I'm supposed to go. It's the... Uh, the tower for Great Plateau. There's another Bacoblin. Oh, I can get... Uh, and I don't have a weapon anymore. Cool. I'm going to pull out my woodcutter's axe. Uh, maybe not. I'm going to leave them alone so I can continue the story because that would, that to me, that would be feel like wasting time. There's, a, there's one of the shrines. Oh, cool. Now we can get that animation over with. I think I had a bow before I got here. In my last recording. I'm, pro I'm also going to probably make this like a half an hour to an hour video. I can't remember. But that's kind of how I recorded it and I just... <laughs> I suck. I also feel like I'm just speaking to get stuff in. Eat death, okay? Oh, damn. And also, not once in the game have I ever done this. Ooh. But it, I think it gets rid of your weapon quicker. There's also a glitch that I learned from Game Grumps. That's not it. All you have to do is run while whistling. You have to, like, tap B repeatedly and hold up on the 
uh, left joystick. Come on. Get over here. My wood cutter's axe is gonna probably die soon. There's also a thing I need to do after this tower that I have I can do like way later in the game. But um I would have to get like three thousand rupees and like thirty pieces of wood. So wood's really easy to come by because you can just chop trees down now. This link is just a savage compared to the other ones. Here's another instance of uh, Zelda talking to us. We also get the maps sections from all these towers. But I don't know why I'm saying all this because most people who have... Like, most people who have even cared about this have already played it maybe or be a big surprise if people actually don't know the story yet of this game i feel like it would have been a lot more important to actually talk about what's actually in this game when the game came out not two years later There's Calamity Ganon. I'm also really tired. It's like really late. I feel like this episode's gonna be the one that I'm just trying to kind of push out because uh, I don't like I don't really want to do the beginning of this game again, over and over and over again. Okay, this way. We get to see the old man when he comes down here. Oh god, he's calling me a hoe. Who you calling a hoe, old man? My my, it would seem you're quite enigma. This tower, like others across the land. Well then, quite suddenly. Ah, my nose itches. Why? I heard a voice. Well now, a voice, you say? No, I did not. Let's see, well, this is unfortunate. See me caught sight of the atrocity... Uh, in shrouding the castle. Calamity Ganon! <laughs> Appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path, so many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom. Okay. God, my nose stopped being itchy. I must, I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to. Yes, I do. You 
We're on the isolated plateau. We are surrounded on sides of the steep. If you were to dry jump, it'd be certain death. Hmm. Of course, if you had a particular uh, parent. <clears throat> Adam. See now, how would I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Cool. He's gonna ask us to go up here, and then we're gonna go to that shrine that I uh, put a beacon towards. You see the structure over there? It's the, yeah, the strange light began glowing. I would think that such a place might oh some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglide, a fair exchange, I believe. Okay. And I have to say that every time I start a new series. I managed to always hate the first episode, because stuff like that always happens, where audio doesn't record, gameplay gets messed up, I think the episode's just extremely boring, wait, I'm gonna leave the Bacoblins alone, it's just, it's not worth it, I, I think all you get is really like a sword, pretty much, like, all weapons are like worth it in this game, because there's a small amount of them, and they always break, But I just don't want to deal with that right now. Maybe later. I spare you all until later. There's also dragons in this game. Oh, wait. Oh, where's... There's one of the divine beasts. Oh, man, ah. Uh. And the joke I've made for, like, the last couple of times I've recorded this was, like, Oh, man, like, I don't have a freaking joke for this. It'd be funny... If I could come up with something. But oh man. Or whatever. It was just something stupid like that. <laughs> I'm not funny in the slightest. Or at least I don't think so. I paint myself in like a very negative way. Access granted. I might not have all the shrines in the episodes later to come, but I'm going to have all of the ones that I feature in this episode. Because all like all the shrines are just boring. I'll probably like keep some parts of the shrines in if I say anything throughout those shrines, but like most of the time I'm not going to keep the shrines in. Oh man, uh is the name of the god okay. Magnesis trial. We are in bombs. Um, this magnet, a stasis, and some others. Yeah, a camera, snow, like an ice or whatever ability. And the reason why I want to go to Zora's domain for the first beast is because one, I know how to defeat the water blight Ganon. And two, I want to get Mifa's uh, healing. Because I know for a fact I am going to get hit. And I'm going to die. And I need, like that thing will bring me back. If I die, it brings me back. Then I have to wait 20 minutes. I'm wondering if there's any way to speed that up or not. Or if that's like permanently like that. I know I won't have to worry about the time later in this game. Because I'll have a lot of hearts and stuff like that. Get up. Get out of the water. But I want to see if I can also do that one glitch that comes up later in the game. Where I can get all the hearts and the stamina meter. As long as Nintendo doesn't take it out by the time I want to do it. Oh, here's this thing. Oh, seriously? You 
suck, dude. I need to start using that more. Ooh, ancient screw. Okay, we also need these ancient screws for the upgrading. Like, you need uh, all the ancient stuff you can get from those things. I can't remember what they're called. The only ones I know of are, like, the Stalker Guardians and stuff like that. I don't know what you would call the small ones. And also, the Guardian weapons do not last very long. From what I have experienced. They maybe last, like, five to ten hits. Maybe. If that. Or maybe even more. I don't know. It's, it's like, a very small amount of hits. They're not really that durable. Okay, now we're done with the Amun Aw uh, Shrine. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. We get spirit orbs from all these monks. I'm an Amun Aw, the creator of this trial. I am humble monk, blessed with the sight of God Helia, and dedicated to helping those seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. And they basically just die off. They give you their spirit, and they die off. And then you trade their spirits for hearts and stamina to help you along the way. And all the monks are basically the Kakariko people because of the way they look. They have, like, the symbol on their face and white hair and... I feel like it's always better to get the heart pieces. Oh, what's going on? Oh. But yeah, it's I, I feel like it's better to get the heart pieces than the stamina meter. Like, it's cool that you can get the stamina meter, but... I've, I feel like it's more useful to get the hearts. Because you can climb most anything with, like, maybe the bar that you have, plus maybe a few upgrades. Is it all connected? Uh, paraglider, please? I've yet to finish speaking. And just continue what you're saying instead of asking me questions. Long ago, it's interesting how they think how someone like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasures from each of the shrines. That wasn't the deal. Well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for you, you go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will always teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always been the survey, best to survey the area by looking around. At, okay, yeah. Uh, got it. And I just saw one of the shrines in the background. Okay. Yep, blue icons are the ones I could transfer to. If they're blue around it and have red in the center, you can't teleport. I think, yeah, you can teleport to them. But that means you're not done with that when it comes to the shrines. Nope, wrong one. Shrines are here. Or not shrine, tower. And somehow he manages to show up here first. Surprised it took you that long. Uh, do you fly here? You join I wanted you you to join me up here so you could use the vantage point. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know how to use it. I've used it before. I got it. And here's... I need to change that real quick. I don't want my motion controls being... Yes. Okay. 
There should be another one over. There should be up here, I think. Maybe. No, wait. There's one right here. And. That one. And there's another one somewhere around here. It's not in the trees. There's one, two. Wait, it's right over here. That's the thing I was looking for. It's right here. There's an easier way to get to this one than anything else, or any of the other three. I'm probably only going to be able to do another one, another shrine or whatever this episode. Then I have to do the other shrines next video. But I, I, cause it's, I'm already running about half an hour, like half an hour in recording time. I don't like cutting up my videos because it takes a long time and I don't actually get videos out. <laughs> That's the, like, the whole time I, I used to get, like, really angry that I have to go and edit stuff because it just was extremely boring after a while. But you knowing me, I don't have money to go pay someone to edit for my, like, for me. But I have started to enjoy editing now by listening to music. That's, like, the easy, like, the best thing you can do. But now let's get back, like, now I need to get back to the game. Um, this is, like, the easiest way to get over here. Because there's guardians who are actually active in this singular area. I need to run. I need to run. It's really stupid to get caught by the freaking guardians that are, like, stuck in the ground. Jabayij. Jabayij? Shrine? I don't know what that means. Or what, how to actually say that. I also don't like waiting times for some weird reason. A lot of the stuff has like weird waiting times. There's also a couple of shrines that I did not like because they were like a test of strength. And I had literally no idea how to actually get past them. I need to figure out what those things are called. The uh, ones that crawl on the ground or whatever that have swords and shields and lasers. Like guardians, but like, they're small. Now I have the two bombs. You can upgrade the bombs, you can upgrade the uh, magnesis, stasis, and I think that's it. I think you'd also upgrade the camera, but I don't completely, ah, uh, no. Nope, pick that up. Nope, god dang it. And run. That will actually hurt me. That may actually kill me if I'm not careful. I only have three hearts. Oop. Am I on the second shrine or am I on the... Th yeah, I'm on the second shrine. The next shrine, we actually have to climb up a... Uh, wall. Or a freaking... Um, side of a mountain type. Uh, side of a cliff. That's what I meant to say. I got so close to getting hurt by that. Okay, here's the chest over here. This, this, like that thing right there, is supposed to tell you that you can actually get shot over to get this chest. And we, oh god, a fall from that height won't really hurt you, but you can get a lot of fall damage if you're not careful.
I think I, all I have to do is actually do this. Nope. Gosh dang it. I didn't throw it far enough. Yeah, I can do that. I don't know why I keep squatting. I feel like that's easier to do this than wait for this thing to go down every single time. Oh god. Oh no. That sucks. Go. Stop wasting my time. No matter of that time, I actually could have exploded all this stuff. There. Now I got them all. I'm so glad the ladders don't take away stamina. Here's the second shrine done. Your resourceful, resourceful, uh, resourcefulness is overwhelming. Uh, I couldn't even read that in time. In the name of God is Goddess Hylia. I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Gosh dang it! I spoke. I've been speaking English my whole life, but the one thing is, half the time when I speak, I mess up. And it sounds like English is my second language. It's stupid. May the god smile, goddess smile upon you. Certain words I cannot read off the first time. I don't have dyslexia. I don't have any of the stuff. I just have a weird tick where I do weird things. It sucks. Okay, we're not blowing that up. We're gonna go over here and continue going behind the scenes. That guardian can see me. That's the stupid thing. Okay. So I'm actually going to want to go this way. Hoping the guardian doesn't see me. I think that guardian can also see me. So. I'm just not going to deal with it. The guardians suck. If you don't have enough... Um, health and not enough uh, ways to actually kill it because each guardian has like at least 500 health and they don't stutter when you hit them oh here's some goblins that could actually kill but yeah they have like 500 health and there's like barely any weapons that go anywhere near it there's like there's the uh, blade of Duality or something like that, and it's like, t like it's like fifty attack points. And also, if you have a sword, you could also attack these guys while they're sleeping with one hit. But that's if they don't wake up as you're trying to do it. And. Come on, pick your head back up, bud. Just die. And I took your weapon, bud. I took it. Oh, now I have a shield. Or another shield, at least. And you, you do not want to piss off the bees. It sucks you can't actually punch things with your fists. You can only hit things with weapons. I wouldn't worry so much about weapons if you could only punch stuff. There's weapons I can... Or stuff I can get in these uh, crates. Not very much, but I can get some. These apples will be a lot more useful later. Since I only have three hearts, I need to put two apples together to make a plate of simmered fruit that will give me two health. There's some nightlight. Uh, you also get the camera feature, and you have to take photos of, like, a lot of stuff. So. Okay. 
A lot of the stuff is, like, useless to have. Oh, wait, I didn't even see this. <laughs> Every time I play this game, I've never seen that before. There's goblins down there. Isn't this the mellow shroom that I'm thinking of? Where it's like that? Oh, here's some peppers. But I don't have any meat. Oh, here's another woodcutter sacks. And you don't really, I don't think you really get anything from the pots. It's a little weird. Okay, let me grab some apples. Hold, hold. I think you, yeah, you get like a plate of simmered fruit. Yep. It'll give me two hearts. I'm gonna make a couple of these because I won't get a heart for a while. There's also a lot more hearts, I think, or not hearts, apples, if I go across the way there. Here's some simmered fruit. Is there anything else I can make? I have two baked apples. I need two more of these to upgrade um, my bombs, I think? No, it's my, uh, it's my scanner, I think, for the Shike Slate. Now I can also upgrade my clothes with the Coblin stuff. But I have to spend like a hundred rupees in order to get to that point of being able to do that. Okay, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I love how this game auto saves. It's so if you're playing this game for a long freaking time, you could actually not lose all your data if your system shuts off. If you accidentally fall asleep or something. I don't need that branch. And also, I do not want to have Oh no! Oh my god. That's stupid. Since they don't have like a whole feature where you are automatically standing on top of the like the tree or whatever, you actually have to like make sure that you don't fall off. Like you can see that animation, but you can just fall off. There's like no way to save yourself or anything. There's the goblins over I can get some seared meat if we go over there. Some sleeping goblins over there. I'm gonna go do that seared meat. I'm gonna do the shrine next episode. Because I don't think I have enough time. God dang it, get on the freaking tree, Link! Oh my god, I'm going to get freaking peeved off. No! No. No. No! Ugh, frick it, I don't care. I give no care anymore. Now I have no more apples. I could do this, though. Do I have a weapon that I can secretly kill these things with? Yes, I do. I'm going to do that real quick. Because I want to kill them. But I think one of them wakes up if I kill one of them. Can't remember. At least, at least you can't see the junk. They didn't even get a chance to wake up. That's a little sad. But at least you can kill them in one hit that way. There's something I can get over here. I kind of wish there was a boar here so I can kill it. But I'm not that lucky. At least you can't accidentally de detonate the bomb in your hands. Ooh, five iron. Uh, arrows. I think there's only like five different types of arrows in this game. Maybe more. I don't know. But from my knowledge of playing this game for about 20 to 30 hours, there is that many. I'm going to, in the next episode, get all the way up there so you don't have to see me climb and waste my time in case I actually fall. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!